Hello, investors and traders, and welcome to the weekly market report with the market guys. I'm AJ Monty. This is a one year daily candle chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF, ticker symbol DIA. And as I do each and every week, I've left my lines on the chart from last week's forecast so you can see how accurate the technical analysis really is, particularly when you're using candle charts as your main tool. Now, if I zoom in here, you'll see that the Dow has moved down exactly like I said it would. And it's uncanny how the prices have followed that diagonal red line almost to the penny. And so what we're looking at here is a downturn in the market that is pulling back from this 20 period moving average, which is that blue line. Now, if we look into next week, I'm going to do something here, which is a very important lesson for you if you plan on doing this on your own. When you see a red candle like this, right on a support level, like we see here, you have to monitor the closing price of the stock on that day, and you also have to monitor the volume on that day. So this candle right here tells us that the price closed right on the low of the day and it did so on higher volume so my forecast for next week is that we are going to break down below that support just like that we're going to continue lower next week it looks like the sellers are increasing their momentum again that's what the volume tells us and so next week is looking very bearish now if we look at the Russell 2000 which is a more broad-based index, the market pulled back again just like I said it would. We moved lower, and this diagonal line, although it was very extreme, is in a similar pattern that we saw in the diamonds. Now, again, this is a long candle that closed right on the low, telling us the sellers are motivated, and I think the Russell 2000 is going to go lower just like that. Now, if we look at the S&P 500, which is measuring 500 stocks, unlike the Russell 2000 that's measuring 2,000, we have, again, a perfect forecast from last week. This was the diagonal line that I drew last Friday. We see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, today being Friday as I record this, and you can see that the volume is increasing down here. So that tells us that the diamonds, the Russell 2000, and now the spiders are all showing motivated sellers, which tells me that next week could be a very interesting week for anyone who's even thinking about buying. I would not, but anyone who's thinking about buying here better be watching that caution flag because if we break down below that key support level right there, we could go a lot lower. And I do think that we're going to break down below that support next week. So I'm going to draw my forecast line just like that. Now, if we look at the Qs, QQQ, also known as the power shares, this measures the NASDAQ market. Again, spot on forecast with my diagonal line being the line that I drew last week. Remember, all these red candles were not on the chart last week when I did this report. This is the forecast line. And again, you can see that we have an increase in volume. So what I think we're going to see is actually what I've forecasted for the rest of the markets is going to be a continuation of this low, a breakdown below that support, and then maybe we'll see a little bit of a bounce towards the end of next week. But it looks to me like the sellers, again, are very motivated. Now, finally, the VIX. The volatility index measures the emotional premium in the market. It, it tells us when the market is heating up and fear starts to move in. And this was my forecast for the VIX. Again, I said that we would most likely move up to this resistance point. We have, and I think that we can even go higher. But for the VIX, being that this is a leading indicator, I think we're going to pull back just a little bit and then go higher from there. 
So I think we're going to see a very short-term pullback on the VIX before going higher. But the important thing to note on the VIX is that we are clear over this resistance area. So the resistance is now going to act as support. That's known as roll reversal. I'm going to mention that here in a little while again when I show you the videos and how to learn about that. But this is now a roll reversal line and we're clear of all resistance back here. Next resistance for the VIX is way up here right around 23. And being that the VIX is a contrarian indicator to the S&P, if the VIX starts moving higher, that's extremely bearish for the general markets, particularly the S&P. If you'd like to learn more about what we do at the Market Guys, just go to marketguys.com, click on the video link right there. That will bring you to a library of videos known as Market Shots. And if you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see a video that's entitled The Roll Reversal. It's a very short video. It's about six to seven minutes long. Go watch that and you'll understand more about how we look at that horizontal line on the chart and what it means for forecasting and particularly with regard to risk management. It's also a very important tool. So I want to thank you for joining the market, guys. Stay tuned for more market reports each and every week. I love doing this for you and I hope you enjoy it as well. So have a good one. Bye-bye. This video segment is a small part of what the Market Guys offer through their educational products and services. If you are interested in any of our trade alert services or you would like more information about our one-on-one -on -one mentoring program, simply contact us at info at